Matt Lauer has been spotted for the first time since his firing. The former NBC host was seen in a Jeep as he drove out from behind the gates of his $33 million estate on Thursday, where he met with his lawyer friend, Eddie Burke Jr. The ousted Today Show host emerged from his palatial home as his legal team began working towards getting him a $30 million golden parachute from NBC, Page Six reported. His lawyers are also believed to be devising a plan to get him the $20 million he would have earned through his contract, which would have lasted until the end of 2018, but a morality clause may stop him getting anything. NBC told DailyMail.com they would not be commenting on reports about a potential payout. Lauer was seen handing Burke, who specializes in real estate, negligence and criminal law, an envelope moments after stepping out of his car. He then got back into the vehicle and headed home. Burke previously defended basketball star Jason Kidd when he was charged with drunk driving shortly after the then Brooklyn Nets coach was hit with a misdemeanor drunken driving charge after a 2012 crash. Lauer's mid-morning outing came shortly after Today read the ex-anchor's full apology on the air at the start of the program on Thursday, there are no words to express my sorrow and regret for the pain I have caused others by words and actions. To the people I have hurt, I am truly sorry, said Lauer. The last two days have forced me to take a very hard look at my troubling flaws. It has been humbling. Some of what is being said about me is untrue or mischaracterized. But there is enough truth in these stories to make me feel embarrassed and ashamed. I regret that my shame is now shared by the people I cherish dearly. Over on ABC, Today Rivals Good Morning America disputed the network's claims that no current executives knew of Lauer's sexual misconduct, saying that claims was at odds with their own reporting on the scandal. The only morning show not to be rocked by a sex scandal over the past few weeks also got a bit glib, with ABC reporter Lindsay Davis telling viewers some of the details that emerged are simply too graphic for morning television. Davis then went on to fully detail every public allegation that has been made against Lauer. It appeared to be an open secret from your reporting, Robin Roberts said to Davies, adding that Andy Lack doubled down overnight saying unequivocally there were no complaints before Monday night. Roberts then said to Davies, that's at odds with your reporting. Davis responded, it is at odds with our reporting. We had talked to dozens of former and current staffers who say that there was general knowledge within all ranks of NBC between staffers, high-ranking executives, other anchors that were on air with Lauer. Natalie Morales also spoke about the fallout in the wake of these revelations on Access Hollywood. Savannah, Hoda and Al putting on a brave show at last night's Christmas tree lighting. All smiles with the clear tension noted Morales. Al did put out the nice Instagram pic, not this one, but this was yesterday as the show, they were discovering the news. Morales then went on to discuss the amount of work that had to be done prior to airtime by the three and the crew at NBC. It had to be really hard because the producers had to edit out some of the segments because